Hi, this video tutorial I will cover how to write a store procedure with input parameter and output parameter. I am going to write a store procedure to get the name of the city based on the ID. Click on create store procedure. It will open this window. Here we have to write the store procedure. Here I have written store procedure. Store procedure name is uh, get city name. Input parameter is uh, city underscore id. Type is int. Output parameter is uh, city underscore name. Type is var character. And between begin and end, I have written the actual store procedure uh, logic. And select name into city name from city where id equal to city underscore id. Suppose we pass uh, city id as 1. Then what this query will do is, so one is the first row, from this row it will take this name value and assign to city underscore name output variable, ok. Click on apply and it will open this window. Here you can review the store procedure uh, script and click on apply and click on finish. And you can see the store procedure uh, get city name has been added to store procedures list. Now we will see how to execute this store procedure. Click on uh, procedure call. I am executing this store procedure. Here you can see the output. City underscore name is uh, Kabul. Here what I am doing is I am setting uh, city underscore id input parameter value as 1 and passing that uh, city underscore id value to get city name store procedure. Uh, this store procedure will be executed and output of this store procedure is uh, name of the city. The name value will be assigned to city underscore name. And then I am selecting the uh, city underscore name uh, output uh, parameter value and I got the output here, Kabul. Uh, this is the id1 row and uh, name of the city is uh, Kabul and uh, here we got the uh, output as Kabul because we are passing uh, id as 1. And this is about uh, how to write a store procedure with uh, input parameter and output parameter and how to execute uh, that store procedure and thanks for watching.